It's Debbie Reed again, here to show you another delicious entree featuring Philadelphia brand cream cheese. This time I'm going to do a take on a um, manicotti dish, but instead of it being Italian with the ricotta cheese and tomato sauce, I'm going to do a Mexican flavored one. So hope you like it. Um, I have pre-prepped some stuff, but I'll, go, I'll give you a uh, um, rundown on everything I've done as I go through step by step. First thing I have in the bowl is I have my softened cream cheese. And to that, I'm going to add some smoked paprika, cumin, and a little bit of salt, as well as a little bit of pepper. There we go. And we're going to blend that all together. This is going to be the mixture that actually binds and holds our meat together in our manicotti. So, there we go. Next to that, I'm going to add the meat mixture. Yeah, let me just make sure that, that looks really good. Okay, well, nice and mixed. Okay, next is our meat mixture. Now what I have here is um, lean ground beef. Um, I cooked in a little bit of some olive oil with some onion and some um, green pepper. Got it going for a few minutes and then threw in two cloves of garlic that I had minced. Cooked it off and drained it real well. So that's our next ingredient. It's going to go in. Oops. Oops. Mess there. Okay. So I'm just going to mix that with all the cream cheese in here. And then we have two more ingredients that's, that's um, going to go into our filling. And that is going to be I have the Mexican blend of the shredded cheese from Kraft with a touch of Philly in it. And I'm going to put in one cup of that into the filling. going to reserve some of this, probably about half a cup or so. Um, it will go on at the end of it after we bake them. So we'll have a nice cheesy top. So we have our cheese in there. And then I have some freshly um, chopped up some, some cilantro. So I'm going to put about two tablespoons in. I have three here. I'm going to uh, reserve a tablespoon for the top when it's all done. Alright, and that is our filling for our manicottis. I have pre-cooked the um, manicotti, um, but I did not cook them all the way through. What I did is um, I cooked them for five minutes. The um, reason I did that, one, I they're going to go in the oven for a while, so of course they're going to cook in the uh, sauce that we're going to put on it. But also, I wanted to make sure they pretty much stayed um, a little bit on the firmer side so that when I stuff them they don't fall apart and go all and break apart. You're going to have some breakage which once all the sauce and cheese is on you won't know but I don't want to start out that way. And then what I do is I just drain them and then I put them actually back in the little container that it came in to try to keep them separated so they don't get all stuck together. So let me grab a little spoon here and I will show you what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stuff these I won't show you all of them, but it's going to take a little bit of a process. You want to be very careful while you do it. You don't want to break up the noodle. And you're probably going to want to do like half this way and then flip it around and stuff from the other half. You want to be um, very careful, and that's probably the easiest way of doing it so you don't play around at one end too much. So that's how you're going to fill your little manicottis here. So I won't bore you with that too much, but just make sure you do press it down because you want to make sure it meets in the middle. So once those are all filled, I'm going to put them in a dish that I have sprayed past a cooking spray, and I'll be lining them all up. I will go ahead and um, do that out of uh, range of camera so you don't have to watch that. Um, and then our sauce, our sauce is going to be, um, of course, blessed with some Philadelphia cream cheese. Yum! What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some canned enchilada sauce and I'm going to start heating it through on the stove top. Oh, you could probably even do it in the microwave if you want. Just be very careful. Cover it up. And then I'm actually going to cube and put some cream cheese in it and melt it in it. And then that's going to be our sauce that we're going to put over these stuffed manicottis. I'm going to cover it, bake it. Um, Probably, it, you probably want to cook it for a total of about 35 minutes. So what I'm going to do um, is do 30 minutes covered, 
I'll take it out and um, go ahead and top it with the rest of the cheese, or about half a cup of that cheese. And then at the very end, when we're ready to serve, I'll get the rest of that cilantro. So I'll go ahead and finish stuffing these little babies up. Um, before I put it in the oven, though, I will go ahead and come back and show you um, the sauce and how that goes together. And then we'll finish up the dish. So see you soon. Alrighty, our manicotti are all stuffed. Don't they look good sitting there? I'm only, only half done at this point. Don't they look good, though? Filling's really good. You're going to love it. But I got them all stuffed. And if you did have any that cracked or, or split a little bit, just turn them upside down. Once they're baked off and are covered in sauce and cheese, you're not going to see it anyway. Plus, you're going to devour them up so fast anyway, they'll be cut up on your plate. So there we go. So those are ready to be topped. I am warming up right now our canned enchilada sauce. And I'll turn it up here a little bit. And what we're adding to it, we're adding the rest of the cream cheese to it. We have, we have half in the filling, and our other half is going in here. Whisk out so it starts melting it off. Go a little faster. This might take a minute, so I might not put you through staying here watching me while I melt this. But that's really all our um, sauce is going to be. It's going to be the uh, canned sauce, so it's nice, quick, easy um, to start with. And then, of course, adding that delicious cream cheese to it. So I'll just go ahead and finish warming this. All I'm going to do is warm it, melt the cheese through it. It's going on top of our filled manicotti. I'm going to cover it, bake it at 375 for 30 minutes, take it out, uncover it, top it with another half a cup of our cheese, and throw it back in the oven for five minutes to melt it, and we'll be all ready to go. So I'll just finish warming this through, top it off, get it in the oven, and I'll show you the finished product in just a minute. Hi, welcome back. Do these manicotti not look great? Still very hot. I just took them out of the oven. Don't they look good? I hope you can see them because they look fabulous. They're hot and bubbly out of the oven. Let them sit for a few minutes. Try and get one out here and put it on the plate for you so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to use two spatulas here to try to make sure I get a good grip on them here. Yeah, that looks good. Oops, lost a little meat. Let me get everything out of that little guy. There we go. Okay. Put it there because it's a little... Doesn't that look good? Put a little bit of our cilantro on there. Now that is one delicious looking manicotti. I'm going to go ahead and take a little taste. Only thing I um, you might want to do, which I'm not going to do right now, but if you want to serve, um, being it is kind of along the lines of more a Mexican instead of Italian on a manicotti, um, someone might, might want some sour cream on the side, but I think really with the amount of sauce and everything you have, you're probably not going to need it, but you never know. Just give somebody that option if they want it. But you can see here, there's a lot of, it makes a lot of sauce. You could always just have a spoon available and they could take some more of that. But that's always an option. You want to give people the, ch their, the choice. I'm going to take two bites. That's really good. Mm -mm -mm. Also very hot, <laughs> but it's very good. It has some great flavor in there with the cumin, the smoked paprika, along with the um, beef. And then you have your filling in there two ways. You have some mixed in with the filling, and then mixed in with the sauce on the top. It's really good. I think you're going to love it. I hope you give it a try. Thank you.